whosoever is worthy, <laughs> he shall have the power of Thor. I, I still don't on? understand it. We are back on. Cons. All right. Where we at with these cons? You guys need Listen, to there was, there, was one, there was one con that I didn't like. Okay. And that was along the line with what Deceptively Awesome was saying. The CGI. Mm -hmm. There was a part in this movie where... Odin, when Odin was, when they first found Odin, and another thing we didn't mention, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange was in this movie. Oh, yeah. There's so many pros. <laughs> it, it, his part was, it wasn't a con and it wasn't a pro. It, it just, no, it, it was, was just, a pro. It was just there. It was a pro. I think the because beginning. I, I'll tell you why it's a pro, because okay. we've seen how strong he got in just a year, but well, we don't really know what the whole Remember, time. Remember, this is two years later, but we don't know. Look how strong he got. Yeah. <laughs> Cause even the even the the God that's that oh man I can't wait for infinity I can't wait for Infinity War because he got he Thanos needs all of the Infinity Stones so how is he gonna get that from from Doctor Strange easy I I can't wait to see that it's funny that like some people have the stones when they're really good at it like. Oh, oh, hold on, pause. One thing they didn't talk about was Heimdall. Mm. Heimdall. Why did they leave him out? They, yes, they did not say anything about any stone in this movie, and everybody thought that they would. But I love how they keep yep. mentioning how Heimdall can see all souls. Still. <sighs> exactly. And he emphasized it, though, like, he didn't really see all souls. Like, it's no joke. So it's like... And... I, I don't know, I feel like he has the stone, but he doesn't know his full potential. I think everyone has the stones, but they don't know his full potential, and Thanos is going to laugh at everybody for not tapping into their full potential. And, and the thing with Heimdall, I always thought that room that he was in to see everybody, I thought that's what gave him the power to see. But now I'm going with you guys, he was in, only in that room only once to get the sword, and then he was off doing mm -hmm. his whole mission thing. So I'm kind of leaning towards you guys of him having the actual... Stone. My question also with Heimdall is, I don't know if this is speculation. You know what? We'll leave that for speculation. I'll, I'll leave that for speculation. But the CGI. I saw my man Odin standing. And the way he was standing, you could tell that was a CGI character. I was like, I was like, come on, guys. You're going to just go to an actual location? What part was this? This was the part when, when, uh, when, um, when Doctor Strange opened up the portal and he sent He's them to Norway okay. and he was just kind of standing there. The rest of the scene was perfect. I love how the rest of the scene went. But to see him standing there, it was like, man, that's really too much. He's, he looks brighter than the, than the background and the foreground. It was just really throwing me off. I didn't catch that. But that was, that, one, that was the one con that I have in that part. And I think I wanted to see a little bit more Doctor Strange, but I love how y'all said. And that's why I said it was, he was a pro and a con for me. Because like, the way he, he introduced himself... He was standing there, the cape was flowing, and then he had the gloves on and everything like that. So I was like, yes, we're seeing Doctor Strange in his full glory. But then it was only he was only there for that one moment. It almost seemed like we didn't need, need him. him. And not only did he he dismiss as guardians the god the god of thunder. You say, okay, you guys talk too much zoom. And, and that was it. And that was it. Because <laughs> even he was just and the way he was bringing him from room to room to room to room. That was awesome. What'd you say, Deceptive? I was saying that how Loki's not even as good as him. Like, when it comes to, like, being this shit, like, you know, the genius and all that stuff. I thought that was going to be a good battle. And it wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. He took, he took out his daggers. Who is this, this this wizard? And then he was just like, all right. <laughs> I was like, what? Awesome. Yeah. I, so it was sort of supreme, man. They really made him stand out. Yeah, man. They, they did. They did. What other nitpicks you guys got? That was it I for don't me. hear no cons. I just hear nitpicks. That was the only two. Um, that was that was it for me. Uh, let's see. A con. Oh, okay. Probably the other con was the, the cons were more so seen, not story wise. You know what I mean? I think story wise they can float. But another con was at the very very end with um with uh Hella when she had thrown by the neck and she's like. Are you the god of? And then he cut the Odin, and then he came back to her, and she's like, "Tell me, what are you the god of?" I'm thinking like, okay, like he's gonna do some, like you know, I thought it was kind of like, uh, you know, like a cheesy line. Like, maybe she should do it again, you know? I think okay. that they could have just made her say, "Okay, let's just stand there," because he like that happened within that second. She didn't have to say, "What are you the god of again?" You know, like. 
Like I said, nitpicks from these two. No really, no real. So, so let, me, let me ask you. Let me ask you guys. Let me ask you a question okay. particularly. Here we go. All right, Mano. Waiting all day for this. Thor losing his eye. Yes. What did you feel about that? Pro. That was a pro. Pro. Definitely. Ha! Explain that to me, cause I didn't. I was like, all right, come on, man. You don't gotta lose your eye like your father. And there's no comic where he lost his eye. <laughs> so tell me. Well. You, you thought that was a con? You thought that was bad? That he lost his eye? It, sh it, sh it just shows the vulnerability of the characters. I think that's all it, it was for. It just shows that these characters can be hurt. These characters can. But we, we, know, we saw that. My man got his hair cut off by Stan Lee. And, but, but who's the person that did it? Hella. This is probably the strongest. But she gave villain, but she gave it to him. Seen. She so, gave it to him the entire movie. The first time she, she the him. first time she came through, yeah. grabbed him by the neck, lifted like she was clearly stronger than him. Clearly she was stronger than him. Yeah. So you prefer that the door so you prefer that the door that door is like one of them because any damage at all has it has no vulnerability. No, I'm not I'm not mm. saying that. I'm not saying that because even in even in Dark World, when she was when he was facing off against uh, Malekith's right hand dude who who broke the thing inside of him, he transformed into this beast. Yo, he was giving it to Thor too, busting him up. He was bruised up and everything. So I know that he is vulnerable. I know that he can get hurt. Uh, I think, but to lose his eye, it's I think it's pretty much all a symbolism of Odin is gone. Yeah. He's so passing the torch. You see him at the end with his people. Now he's on the throne. But now this is a character character development that. And from Thor one, one of the throne, yeah, then then one and no more. Now he wants to throw in the game to lead his people. Right. So I think this is just it's just symbolism. I think they could have did all that without losing his eye. Nah, it's okay to lose <laughs> eye. It's, it's okay. It's fine to lose eye. Save eye too. Save eye. And Save you gotta eye. realize he's now a space pirate. You hear know what this guy said? <laughs> this guy said a space, a space pirate. pirate. There you go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so we have we have Captain America as no as no man or no with no man, shield with no shield, we see uh, Thor with no eye and no Mjolnir. We see Iron Man with no chest plate. Everybody um, got to lose something. Everybody we see Hulk with no longer no banner. It seems like, and that's we're gonna talk about speculations. Is Yo, you know what? Let's Bruce Banner. Forget forget this con crap. Let's just go right into the speculation. Is Bruce Banner gone from the Marvel Universe? Oh, is Bruce Banner gone from the Marvel Universe? I'm gonna say we won't see him for. Uh, we won't see him next movie. We won't. We won't see him for a while. I think we're going to see Bruce Banner when Thanos steps in. I think Thanos is going to because one of uh, Thanos even admits in the comics that his greatest threat and the person that he tries to avoid the most is the Hulk. He says that out of his mouth. So I think that Thanos is going to eliminate the Hulk by reverting him back to Bruce Banner. Mm. I don't think he's going to kill him. I think he's going to revert him back to Bruce Banner. That's the only time we're going to see Bruce Banner. Other than that, we're going to see, Thor. We're going to see way, Hulk. Well, how can he revert him back? What stone will he need? What I think is going to happen, I think Thanos is going to use like, the reality of something and somehow reverse himself back to Bruce Banner. That's going to be a Hulk. Record. That's something he, that can happen. The reality stone could do these things. The time reality stone, stone, maybe he would have to rush first time to make him before, before the gamma radiation. He could do that too. Possibly. There's, could, ways. He, there's ways of doing that. Or that, you that's could just what, snap his finger. Could, man, I can't wait for that. I hope they do. That. Or you could just snap his finger. It's, it's, up, it's it. up to him. <laughs> it's up to him how, it. how he want to choose this. Uh, another speculation that I got. Hella. Now, if you remember Thor The Dark World, they talk about the convergence is something that happens every 5,000 years. Loki makes a mention when, um, when he's talking to Odin, Odin says, we're not gods. We're born, we live, we die. And then, Thor, and then um, Loki says, um, give or take 5,000 years. So what I was thinking, hella, number one, these are, this is a two-parter. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Is Frida Hella's mother? That's number one. And number two is when Frida and well, sorry, when Hella and Odin was doing their thing. How long ago was this? Was this before the first convergence? Because well, it can't be before the first convergence. Now that I'm thinking about it, because that happened when 
uh, Odin's father, Bor, was around. So it has to, this has had to have happened between the two 5,000 years. So when did he have Hela and is Frida Hela's mother? Yo. Yes. I thought Hela I was know. dead. I don't think so. I think she said she's the she goddess. She's the of goddess death. of death. So if Hela's mother is dead, but that but I can see going that route. But then what? What? Who is Hela in the comics? What is her? What's her? What's her title in the comics? Because if her title is the same thing, the goddess of death or the yeah. goddess of the underworld, yeah, pretty much. Then death is is a totally different character. But it's the character that's owned by Fox. That's right. Marvel's gonna combine one of the two. Yeah. I think that Thanos is gonna find her and the destroyed ruin of of uh rat of uh, Asgard and she's gonna be what that is to him. But but Asgard is destroyed. Yeah, but not Hella. I'm thinking that Thanos is gonna find Hella. Okay. And I can after see that. that. He's gonna try to win her love. Well, would she even be powerful? Because she's known as yeah, she, she was. Or without Asgard. Or she's not gonna look like Hela. She's gonna look like Death. I can see that. And just be called the goddess of death. So Marvel would keep her. She can't, she can't die. She loses her power as a as an Asgardian because Asgard is dead. But if she's a goddess of death, that means she can't die. So what if Hela? Turns into the embodiment of death. I can see that. That's a, that's a good one too, actually. That's a good stretch. I can see that. That was my speculation. He already knew. I, I took it. He I already knew. <laughs> I took it. Hey, look, are you trying to play me? I was going to take it. Well, you, Chad, you've been taking stuff all day. Wherever you are at. <laughs> yeah, you've been taking stuff all day, bro. Uh, so, what other what, speculation did you guys have? What other speculation? Um, well, well, I think it's not really a speculation. I think. Oh, of course. Of course. You see how huge that thing was. Not even that, but you saw how it's how how it looks. Yeah. That looks just like his armor. So you think that segues into what the Guardian of the Galaxy do ended with, with Thor slamming on them on the uh, on the uh, the crap? Well, that was actually the Infinity War trailer. Yes, it was. That we seen. That. Not a lot of people have seen. Um, it hasn't been released. I was hoping at the end of the movie there's gonna actually play the trailer because it kind of will blend right in. But I guess yeah. you have to wait till Black Panther come out to actually see. We we actually did a review, and YouTube shut it down. YouTube yeah. shut down that review that we that we had up. Yeah. Um. But in that the opening scene to that trailer. So this is a spoiler. Spoiler. I'm not. Too this sure. is a super spoiler. <laughs> there you go. I'll I'll just leave it at this. Guardians of the Galaxy runs into Thor. I'm not gonna say what condition out Thor in space. was. I'm gonna say out in space, Thor lands on right on their windshield. <laughs> what I didn't notice though, and I had to go back and check that trailer out. Does he have two eyes? Mm. Does he have two eyes? And since it wasn't released worldwide, they can't uh, yep. call it. Uh, what you call it? They can't say it's um. What up? But yeah. <laughs> You can't say it's a loophole. <laughs> can't say it's a loophole. So I, I, I would love to see release. because it's it's clear it's very clear who this person was, and I love how they just went through this entire thing with Ragnarok and losing their home, and then the next thing you see is Thanos. Mm. Oh man, I was so happy when I saw that. I was so happy when I saw that. That was a that yeah, that's definitely a big speculation. So whatever happens between that. That end credit scene, and in that trailer, we don't know what part of the movie that it, that's in. That's what's gonna happen. So who knows what happens? So next. my speculation is Loki is gonna be Loki. He's gonna take his tesseract and like I'm out. And will he do the? Well, he'll probably leave by himself. I don't think he even take the people with him. I don't think that's what's <laughs> gonna happen. Really? I think what's gonna happen because remember. The original task and the original thing that Loki was supposed to do in Avengers mm -hmm. was to find the Tesseract and bring it to Thanos. That's what he was supposed to do. He gave him an army, he gave him the Mind Stone as the Loki staff, and he sent him to Earth so he can get the Tesseract. Now he didn't get the Tesseract. 
Loki saw the Tesseract before he left. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, and my speculation is that Loki has the Tesseract, that ship comes up, and instead of Thanos destroying everybody, he says, Thanos, I have what you was looking for. It took me some time, but I have it. <laughs> and then Thanos is going to take Loki and the Tesseract, and he's going to go by his business. But because it's Thanos, he's still going to destroy all those people mm. in the ship and leave only one person, and that's going to be Thor. That's what I think is going to happen. What do you think, Deceptive? Second. Now, now I think about that, is Thanos there for Loki or is he there for Honda? Maybe he sensed where the Soul Stone was at. Yeah, he's tracking them all and he got, he got them both in the same place. Yeah. At the same time. Look, Loki is bouncing. I'm not too sure what Loki you guys been watching. Loki. <laughs> but Loki, remember, Loki is always a type because if that was the case, he would have left Sakaar. He always blends in and he always gets in good with someone who is much stronger than him. This is true. So I think I, that's why I think he's gonna turn over. He's gonna turn over the tesseract to save his skin. I don't think he's gonna do it for no people of Asgard or for his brother. I think he's gonna try to save his skin. Mm. But man, that's a good. That's a good one. Send him all the earth, and now he has to come to earth for that soul stone. Or maybe, maybe all the other stones are on earth. Maybe Heimdall doesn't have all. Doesn't have. Doesn't have the stone after all. Maybe yes. he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Who would be the other? I think that's a huge stretch because you can't destroy that. You can't separate those those stones. They're 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 solid. They're they're together. I don't see that happening. I. That's a good idea. I don't think that's happening though. <laughs> well, you think he has a twin in Wakanda? What? Well, then again, Heimdall. What I didn't understand also, how did Heimdall grow dreads in two years? Hmm. <laughs> Well, they kind of explained that. <laughs> well, they actually kind of explained that that, and we all know time is all relative. Like when yeah. Loki and Thor was in that tunnel, Loki fell off first. He was at Sakaar for like two months. He said. Yeah. Uh, Thor came. He was only there for two days. So, depending on where you're at in the universe, depending. Uh, I guess that can happen. Time is relative. That can happen. <laughs> oh man. Um, Any other speculations? Was, uh, let me see. I think there was another speculation that I had. Um, uh, let's see. I had no more. Yeah, I don't think I had any more. I think th those were my major speculations. Is Hella, is Frida Hella's mother? And if nope. not, who was Hella's mother? Death. That's the question. And another question, because the way that they were talking, and I love how. They showed uh, the scenery up top, and then when she broke it, it showed the real thing. How she and Odin was like side by side and all that they were doing. That's what I wanted to see. That's just kinda, Odin's power. I just want to see how strong he really is. I feel as though that maybe, maybe she wasn't Thor's sister. Because mm. the way they had those, those images look like, they looked like they were a couple. They looked like they were a husband and wife kind of thing. I see what you're saying. I don't know. To me, it just looked, it looked too intimate. Saying. And you know what? Thinking about it, like, Frida, she doesn't seem like a person that will stand by while Odin yeah. is doing the whole destruction that's thing. What I'm, that's what I'm thinking. That's not, that's not her mother because mm -hmm. maybe she came along and changed his perspective, changed Odin's perspective. Which makes sense. That's what I thought. All right, well, let's get into overall grades. Overall grade. What are we going to grade this from 1 to 10? A scale being a 1. I can't think of a movie that's a 1 right now. I can think so, of a movie that's a 1 right now. Or a 10. <laughs> I can think of several movies that are 10. Where will you put this? 
Uh, Deceptive, you wanna go first? Whatever. Deceptive, where you at, man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it was a big battle, and it turns out that 